Hello students, in today's lesson, we will learn about atmospheric pressure. But before that, let's discuss about the pressure in gases. Students, the particles of gas are loosely packed. Loosely packed means that the molecules are very far away from each other and have intermolecular spaces between them, which allows the gases to move around freely. Gases neither have a definite shape nor a definite volume. Gases acquire the shape of the container. Gases have least amount of force of attraction. Since the molecules of gas are very far away from each other, there is very little force of attraction between the molecules. So, gases have least amount of force of attraction. Now students, if gas is enclosed in a sealed container and it is not allowed to expand, if pressure inside the container rises, the pressure is caused by the fast moving gas molecules colliding with the sides of the container. If the gas is compressed into a smaller space, the molecules become more concentrated and the container side will have more molecules striking it and so the pressure also increases. So students, if the mo molecules of gas do not have enough space to move around, the pressure of gas will also increase. Students, the earth is surrounded by an envelope of air. The column of air above the earth is called the atmosphere. The earth atmosphere is divided into five layers. The first layer is called the troposphere. The second layer is called the stratosphere. The third layer is called the mesosphere. The fourth layer is called the thermosphere. And the fifth layer is called the exosphere. The pressure in the troposphere that is the bottom most layer is much higher as compared to the other layers above the troposphere. Students, as you all know that earth has a force which pulls everything downwards. This force is known as the gravitational force. Students, gravity also pulls this massive layer of air towards the surface of the earth creating pressure. The pressure that it exerts towards the surface of the earth is called the atmospheric pressure or the barometric pressure. The atmospheric pressure is greater near the surface of the earth because the molecules of air are closer to each other and are thus concentrated due to gravity. As you move up in the atmosphere away from the earth's surface, there are fewer molecules above you. So the pressure there is also less as compared to the pressure near the earth's surface. Students, the activity here shows that air exerts pressure. Students in nature, pressure wants to be balanced. The imbalance in pressure can cause things to get crushed or collapse like this tin can. Students, our bodies can also get crushed if the pressure is not balanced. The pressure inside our bodies is equal to the atmospheric pressure outside our body, meaning there is no overall force on you and you do not get crushed. Let's understand this in a much better way by discussing this activity. Students take a thin wall tin can, boil some water in the can with its mouth open. The steam will drive out the air from the can. Remove the can from fire and cork the can tightly. Put the can inside the cold water. The steam inside the can condenses into water. Water in the liquid state does not exert as much pressure as in the gaseous state. 
so the atmospheric pressure from outside the can is much more higher than the pressure being exerted from inside the can. So what happens to the can? The can is crushed by the pressure of the air outside the can. Now the can is crushed because the pressure inside is less than the atmospheric pressure which is more outside the can. So students, this activity shows that air exerts pressure. Students, now let's discuss some uses of air pressure. Air pressure is useful to us in many ways. It is used for inflating balloons and tires. It is used for filling up fountain pen with ink. Doctors make use of air pressure in giving injections. And air pressure is also used in sipping cold drinks through a straw. Siphon. A siphon is used to remove water from a tank or any other vessel which cannot be emptied. The siphon works by atmospheric pressure and gravity. Students, a siphon is a bent tube which is made up of glass, rubber or plastic with its short arm dipping in the tank and its longer arm outside the tank. To start a siphon, it must first be filled with liquid by external air pressure. Now due to gravity, the liquid will continue to run out as long as the end of the longer arm of the tube is below the level of the water in the tank. So a siphon works by atmospheric pressure and gravity.